This was my first time shooting volleyball and it was super challenging. The players and coaches really love the photos, but then again, most people are used to phone photography, so the bar was pretty low. The main challenge was freezing the fast action. Thankfully, it was a high-end volleyball facility, so the lighting was good, at least to our eyes. But for the camera, not so much, and it was really flat light. Now for this shoot, I used the Lumix G9 Mark II and my old 35 to 100 millimeter f2.8 lens. I was forced to use high ISO in order to freeze the motion of the players and the ball. Even the f2.8 lens wasn't really fast enough. Now there is that moment when the players jump up to block or serve just before gravity takes them back down. And in that moment, the motion is frozen for a millisecond. That's when I wanted the shutter to click. Now the next challenge was gaining access to the best spots to take photos. I think it would be fun to shoot during the team warm-ups or a practice session as opposed to an important tournament. For example, I would have liked to view the game from a higher angle, like the ref's chair, or maybe stick a camera below the net. Might need a small action cam for that. As with any sport, it helps to have some knowledge of the peak moments of action. Now I played a bit of volleyball in high school, so I understand the game. Shots of people standing around waiting for action don't really cut it. In volleyball, just like any sport, the best photos show the emotion of the players. Now this happens a lot at the net, and when serving, and when receiving the ball in the back row. There is a lot of anticipating what comes next for the players and the photographer. So you always need to be ready. And the Lumix Preburst really helps with that. Here's my camera setup. As mentioned, I used my 35 to 100 millimeter f2.8 lens. And I mostly shot at the 35 millimeter focal length. I could have used a faster and a slightly wider lens like the Leica 25 millimeter f1.4. I used autofocus continuous. I used subject detection on the human eye face body setting. For the zone of focus, some of it was high middle of the frame, especially for the net shots. But I also used full area because it was sometimes hard to predict where the players would be. And I tried to get the ball in every shot too. I used manual exposure with a shutter speed of 1 1,000th of a second or faster. I used high ISO ranging from 6400 to 12800 ISO. 20 frames per second pre-burst was my friend. And I shot high quality JPEGs. To shoot this in RAW would have been a nightmare. RAW files from this camera can be over 40 megabytes in size and that would have affected the buffer time tremendously. Speaking of buffering, in volleyball, the play is stopped long enough for the files to copy to the card in between the bump set spike cycles. I don't feel I missed any shots because of slow buffering. I've actually had more trouble with buffering when birding, especially birds in flight at 20 frames per second or higher. Now, if you check your photos right away after shooting a large burst sequence, you'll notice the buffering issue more and you'll get a message that says, now writing, please wait. And that can be frustrating. But to be safe, if you're planning to shoot a lot of high speed burst photography, definitely get the fastest memory card you can afford. It's not just the amount of files you need space for, but also the time it takes to save them into that memory card. Am I happy with the photos? Mm, yes and no. I love that I captured the decisive moments easily with the 20 frames per second preburst. Focus was good even with my old 35 to 100 millimeter lens. But I didn't like that I had to use super high ISO of 6400 plus to get the shutter speed I needed to freeze the action. And as a result, I got a lot of noise and mush too much for my liking. Thankfully, I didn't have any banding from the lights and the curtains between courts were white and neutralish gray. So I just left my camera on auto white balance. But I probably should have used a custom white balance using my X-Rite Color Checker Passport card. Now the light was flat and while it's great for the players, it can be a bit lifeless in photos. 
I miss the crisp edges of outdoor photos with lower ISO. I love action sports photography and I'm used to shooting skateboarding. Outdoors. I can get really close to the athletes. It helps that I know a lot of good skaters too. I can get them to repeat a trick or skate in a certain area where the light is good and I have more control over the composition. And there's usually a lot of light to work with. Even on a cloudy day, it's brighter than an indoor volleyball court. And if I need to, I can use fill flash. And you can't do that in volleyball or you'll distract the players and the ref and probably get kicked out. I think I did okay for my first try, but I definitely need more practice. That's my motto, by the way. I think I'd enjoy shooting outdoor beach volleyball more and get better results. Now, if you want to know how I shoot skate photos, you can watch this video next.